In this illustration, we intend to simulate LYS steel plate shear wall undergoing a cyclic loading in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the model is composed of plate, column, top beam, middle beam, bottom beam, and stiffener. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the top of the model and then its hysteresis diagram is drawn. In this picture, the hysteresis diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with experimental results. You can also observe in this picture the deformation of the model undergoing the cyclic loading. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental and Numerical Investigation of Low Yield Strength LYS Steel Plate Shear Walls Under Cyclic Loading. In this picture, the model having been simulated in the Abacus software can be observed. In this picture, you can see the hysteresis diagram having been drawn in the article. In the next step, I will enter assembly module, click on create instance, enter the geometric shape of bottom beam into the assembly section, then enter that of plate into the assembly section and OK. Then I will rotate plate 90 degrees about Y axis. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of middle beam into the assembly section and put that in a proper place. The thickness of middle beam web is equal to 4.1 millimeters. The thickness of middle beam flange is equal to 5.7 millimeters. The thickness of column is equal to 15 millimeters. done and close all boundary conditions of displacement for it.
click on seed part instance enter approximate global size equal to 30 millimeters okay then i will click on mesh part and yes here you can observe the modes of the buckle In the next step, I intend to simulate hysteresis analysis of the model. To do so, first I click on Model menu, then on Copy Model and select Model 1. I will enter Step Module. Click on Step Manager, Replace. Here select dynamic implicit and continue. The analysis will be done in nonlinear form. Here select quasi static. Time period is equal to 101 seconds. I will increase maximum number of increments. Enter initial increment size equal to 0 0.1 seconds.
we intend to draw hysteresis. Diagram of the model. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram. To do so, I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB History Output, and continue. Here, I'll select RF3 and U3, and click on Save As. I will click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and continue. Here, I'll select Combine first, select U3, and then RF3, and click on Save As. Here you observe the hysteresis diagram of the model. I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is newton. The diagram drawn in red color is the one obtained uh, from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the uh, Abacus software are similar to experimental results, indicating that the question has been simulated properly and correctly in the Abacus software. As you observe the diagram obtained from the Abacus software is exactly concordant with the results mentioned in the article.